Yo, yo, YouTube, what's going on? This boss man, CNB Outdoors. Hey, man, I ain't been to this salt water in a long time, man, so I'm out here. I'm trying to try my little wave spot out and uh, see if anything happening over there. I'm at the bay house right now. I'm about to go in here and see if they got any live in here. When I salt water fish, that's pretty much all I, all I use is uh, live. So I'm gonna run here and see if they got some live bait, so y'all stay tuned. Hey, how y'all doing, buddy? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Let me get a quarter of a lot. Yes, Mm-hmm. Yeah. I use I usually come here during the winter time mostly. Like like December. November, December. But I'm just Yeah. I'm just trying my little uh, trying my little wave spot out over here to see if anything in there. See if it see if it's some drums or some ribs or something in there. Yeah. All right, appreciate it, but. That's it, people. I'm suited up and booted. I'll see y'all at the way spot. Y'all stay tuned. See and be all do it. All right, guys. I haven't, I haven't fished this area since last year. This here is one of my way spots that I usually go to, but I haven't been there since last year, so I don't know if any fish in here. You know what I'm saying? Usually, you know, it be certain times of the year when the fish in there, but. Fishing on a fishing off a, a oyster reef, fishing off a oyster reef. So sometimes they in there, sometimes they not. So we'll find out in a minute. So I'll see y'all when I get to the water. Peace. on YouTube I done made it to my little spot that south wind got the tide in pretty good water real chocolate so I'm finna get started but what I usually do I know that Austin reef is right up in here somewhere behind me I'll walk back and forth until I find it until I get on them shells and then I then that way I know I'm on top of the Austin reef I apologize for the wind I don't know how the video how the video gonna do with this wind blowing in in the mic so it might be a little loud but let me get started man let's see what's in here all right so it feel like i'm on a reef right now so i'll just walk straight out to the water get about waist deep
team fishing. It's an Inception SZ. I got it on a ducky. Silverado. And it's a medium, medium heavy, seven foot rod. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's nice there. There you go. Oh, he's pulling drag. He's pulling drag, people. Some nice red people. That's a, that's a good red people. That's the red people. Nice red people. my people nice red people keep it red people that's what I'm talking about that's what I came for right there that's what I came for right there people keep it red Get their hook out of there. Let's see. All right, people. So I had to cut the line. I couldn't get their hook out of there. He swallowed the whole hook. So I had to cut the line. But this is this what I come for, people. Got him. Got him. I got some bad spots in my line, so hopefully. people I'm ready to go get back in here sometimes I hook my sometimes I hook my shrimp in the horn sometimes I hook him in the tail right here I just hook him in the back of the tail right there sometimes I hook him in the horn in the horn right there
them right there, y'all. Hope it ain't no stingray. That's him, y'all. I knew it. Somebody already cut his tail off. Somebody already cut his tail off, so. Got the hook out. Let him go now. All I got, people. All right, people, y'all stay tuned.
What's good, YouTube? It's Boss Man CNB Outdoors, man. Y'all already know what time it is. Redfish on the half shell. All right, so here my fillets right here. And uh, I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm gonna do with that last. But we are using this Italian spaghetti blend, lemon pepper, garlic, smoked paprika, and can you see that? Garlic Parmesan. And over here we got swamp dust. I see that swamp dust. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna mix this with the butter. And this one I'm gonna baste the fish with while it's cooking. But I use this here because this here got dried onions and peppers and it got basil and parsley and all that stuff already in here. A lot of people like to buy fresh, fresh herbs, but this here got dried herbs in it. So this is what I use sometimes. You can use you can use your fresh herbs, or you can just buy this here Italian spaghetti season, and they got all the herbs already in there. All right. So what I'm gonna do first? These these uh, fillets kind of thick on this end. I cut them fillets like that at an angle on this thick part so it'll cook evenly because if you don't then it'll get done down here on the thin end faster than it will up here so just make you some cuts in them fillets like that all the way through and that way it'll cook even so let me let me do that right quick All right, that's it on it. All right, next I'm gonna put the seasoning on. All right, this your garlic. I told y'all before, I like a lot of garlic. I like a lot of garlic, people. All right, next I'm gonna put the lemon pepper on. My wife called me to shake a holic cause I be shake I be shaking it on. I don't discriminate with the with the seasoning. I shake it on. All right, it's the smoke. Smoke paprika. It's just spaghetti. Spaghetti Italian. Blend. Look at that. You see all them dried onions? See, it already got. See, it already got all the herbs in there. See that? All right, then I put your garlic parmesan on top. And that's it, people. All right, I'm gonna show y'all them seasonings one more time. There go my butter. Got all your seasonings right here. I'm gonna melt this butter down. And then I'm gonna mix this swamp dust in that butter. And that's what I'm gonna base the fish with while it's cooking. Y'all stay tuned. All right, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna I'm gonna lace these grills with some foil paper. So that way when you cooking your you cooking your fish, it'll hold the moisture. It won't dry. Out. 
I didn't tell y'all, but this redfish will be will be smoked. This redfish will be smoked, people. Spread them coals out. I'm gonna have the heat on this side and the fish will be on this side. I'm gonna use hickory today. I was gonna use pecan, but I'm gonna just use the hickory today. All right, people. So what I just did, I changed my mind on the wood. I am using pecan. So what I did was I took mostly all the bark. I took the bark off the majority of it as much as I could. Got a little bit still on there, but when you smoking meat, you don't really want to leave the bark on there because the bark The bark gives your food a bitter, a bitter taste. All right, people, while I'm waiting on that, while I'm waiting on that, I'll sip on a little bit of this here. Uh, that's it. Straight out the bottle. While the food getting ready, I sip on a little sip on a little bit of that. And I don't want to hear nothing about man, that's a, man, that's a girly drink. I don't want to hear. Hey, but that cucumber mint tastes pretty good, man. Yes, sir. Alright, people, them coals look pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now. I know this is a big piece of wood for, for what I'm doing. I'm gonna just set that, set that block of wood right there. I'm gonna let that sit in there for about 15 minutes before I put the fish on. Let it get nice and hot and uh, let it catch. Then I'm gonna put the red fish on here. Smoke red fish on the half shell, people. All right, people, got a good, got a good smoke going. So I'm gonna go ahead and Set these fillets on them. All right, piece of swamp dust. Putting it in the butter. You don't have to use the whole lot because it it is hot. So I ain't gonna use the whole lot. I'm gonna put a little garlic. I'm gonna put a little garlic in there. I don't have no fresh garlic, so I'm gonna use this. You can use the minced garlic too. I got that all mixed up, so I'm gonna wait on them fillets to cook about, maybe about five minutes. I'm gonna start basting it with that butter and that garlic and that, and that swamp dust. Take that butter. Just run it from the tail. Run it down that fish like that. That's it. Close them back up. Oh man. Oh man, look at man look man. Man, look at that. Man, look at that red fish, man. Come on, man. Look at that red fish. Man, I'll be man, I need to open up my own restaurant, man. CNB outdoors. Man, like and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't already, CNB Outdoors, man. If you ain't subscribed, man, already, go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already, man. Come on, man. Look at that red fish, man. That red fish ought to make you want to like and subscribe. Come on, man.
All right, people, I'm gonna... One more round. One more round of butter. That's it, people. One more round of butter. It's gonna be ready to come out. And this is, people, this is not just redfish on a half shell. This is smoked redfish on a half shell. Don't get it twisted. All right, people, what I'm doing now, I'm letting it cook the rest of the way with, with, the, with the top open. And I'm just running it Hitting it with that, hitting it with that butter. Got to keep you, keep your eye on it, so you don't burn it up. So you gotta stand here and watch it. Man, I know, I know y'all, I know y'all hear that sizzle. Man, you hear that, you hear that sizzle, man. If you hear, if you hear that sizzle, man, I need you to like and subscribe right now. Like and subscribe right now if you hear that sizzle. All right, so right now, the rest of the way, I'm letting it cook with the lid open. So when you open that lid up, you already know the flame, the flame is gonna get higher. See that? I cook it the rest of the way with the lid open. For about for about five minutes, and that'll get that that'll get the skin and the shell and all that with a nice char on it, without burning it up. So that's why you got to stand here and keep your eye on it. All right, people. So what I've did now, I took the fish off of the fall paper. So what you do is you make room. Make room on your grill. You move your move your extra grills. And so what you do now, you slide that slide that grill over on top of that fire like that. And you let the bottom. The skin side and the scale side of that fish get a nice char on it. You keep your eye on it. You know what I'm saying? Make sure it ain't getting too dry. And it's about to come off in a minute. Y'all stay tuned. Take your grill, slide your grill off of that fire. Just let it rest right there for a minute. Just let it rest. Don't get in a rush. Come here. Come here. Say, say hey, YouTube. Say hey, YouTube. <coughs> hey, sit down. There it is, people. Time for the tasting. All right, people. I got me and my little bro here. So up, we, ain't, we ain't doing nothing fancy. We ain't, we ain't putting it in no plates and all that. You got your fork in your hand, and, and we finna dig in. So we finna see what it, what is what it tastes like. Go ahead on me, man, little bro. Uh... Smelling 
Mm. That seasoning. You can taste it right off the grill. Ooh wee. Oh, that's good. What? Excuse me one sec. What? <laughs> Man. Mm. If y'all can taste this, this fish right now. This is it. If you can taste this fish right now, man. Mm. Look at that. Worth the build up. Worth the build up. Can't confirm. I gotta get some more. Hold on. Watch out now. Look at it. Just look at it. Oh man. Man, that fish and that seasoning just melt. It's just melting in your mouth, man. Mm. Oh man. Come on, man. Perfect. Come on, man. And you ain't getting a piece. One more time, one more time. Let's see what this, this, this second one tastes like over here. Hey, people. Smoke redfish on a half shell. Oh. Oh, man. Come on, man. Just look at it. Mm. Come on, man. Mm. Oh, mm, oh, oh, man. This is the best way to have it right here. What? This is. The and best you way ain't to have getting it. a piece. Mm. <laughs> we we ain't gonna stand here and eat the whole fillet in your face, man. So. <laughs> we just we just want to taste it, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna eat the rest of it off camera, man. You know what I'm saying? So man, I hope y'all enjoyed enjoyed the show, man. And if you haven't already, man, like and subscribe, man. This boss man, this my little bro, CNB outdoors, and we out, man. Peace. Peace.